Hey guys, it's your girl Boxer coming to you today with a new video. Here is my model Niobe. Now she is a good model, honey. Sweet pie. Hence the reason why she was chosen for this photo shoot, darling. Come and get me live. Oh my god. But um I'm doing her hair and makeup today. I set her hair yesterday. And now I'm just going to apply her makeup and then take her hair down. But I'm going to show you behind the scenes of this whole process. And I will definitely add the photos to the end of this video from her photo shoot. Now, if you want to see how we get her ready, just keep on watching. So let's get started. So now I'm carving out her eyebrows using the Born This Way Concealer in the shade Chai. I'm also setting that same concealer with a loose powder from Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 25 medium. We're heading over now to Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette, and we're going to use the brown shade that is in there. Now we are going to cut that crease, honey. We're going to use the same Born This Way concealer in the shade Chai to cut her crease. For the top part of my model's eyebrow, I will be cleaning it up using the Fit Me Foundation in the shade 360. Now I am highlighting and shaping her face. Under her eye is a concealer that is a shade lighter than her skin tone. And underneath the highlighter, I'm adding the Born This Way in the shade Chai. The reason why I'm adding that under there is so that when I blend everything out, you won't see any harsh lines and it will blend seamlessly. At this point, I definitely was talking my model's head off. I don't even remember what we were talking about, but it was some good conversation, I must say. So here I am just blending this all out. Blend, blend, blend. So I'm just starting with the Born This Way concealer. That's what I'm blending out first, and then I will get under her eyes. I didn't like how the first concealer looked under her eye. I wanted it to be a bit brighter. So here I'm adding the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer under her eye in the shade Tan. And now I'm just blending that out. You guys can see the difference so far. And her eyes are definitely lighter than it was earlier. And now to my favorite part of my makeup routine the sculpting of the face. Here I'm using Black Opal Stick Foundation in the shade Carob and that's what I'm using to carve out her shape to bring back the definition that she might have lost with all of the concealer and lightening. So I'm just adding that definition right back into her face using that stick foundation. One of my favorite highlighters is the Juvia's Place Highlighter from The Tribe Volume 2. Now this highlighter is my ultimate favorite. I always use this on my models because it just gives me that nice glow and I'm adding it to the inner part of her eye just to give it a little pop in there. Believe it or not, I use foundation to line my model's lip because some of the browns that I find in regular lip pencils, they are too harsh for me. So with the foundation, I find that it blends into the skin a bit more and it looks a, a bit more realistic. It makes her lip look like skin to me, like a nice nude or brown skin tone to line her outer lip. So yep, that's what I'm using. Then I pair it with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Gloss. So it's going to blend really well with these two shades. To bring this look together, you cannot forget the hairstyle ladies. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just unraveling her hair from these soft rods that I had set in her hair the night before. I wanted this look to come out and be the best possible. So I set it a night before to make sure that it is fully dried. And after taking them out, I'm just pulling the curls apart. And after pulling them apart, I'm going to just fluff it out. Thank you. 
everybody loves some good edges girl so for today i will be using style factors edge booster this edge control is my ultimate favorite the reason why i love it is because this edge control doesn't get shiny it doesn't get greasy what you see is what you get once you put that on there it's not going anywhere for the rest of the day now one downfall with this edge control is if you put too much it will turn white so use little as possible but you definitely will get the desired look that you're going for and you will not have to worry about your edge control melting down your face or it looking shiny after an hour or two it's definitely going to stay in place for the rest of the day so like i said earlier i want her curls to be a bit bigger so i'm just pulling it out i'm using the back of this comb slash sponge thingy majiggy i have in my hand <laughs> i got it from the beauty supply store don't really know the name of it but yes it has like an afro pick to the end so that's what i'm using to just pull out her curls i want to give her hair some volume so that's why i'm pulling it out so that it could be a bit bigger and it's not flat on her head and this is my beautiful model's final results i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i hope you learned some tips and tricks from this video whether it's makeup or hair and here is the final pictures. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell.